Um, in case you don't know who I am, I'm Helen Ann, this is Sherlon. Pre-warning, we have two small people who may interrupt us if you hear any arguing. We'll pop down, do an SAS move and try and uh, sort that out, but hopefully the bribery of screens is helping us. We are so excited to be with you. We really, really miss you. Um, but it's such an honour to pray with you tonight. It's funny at this time, everyone seems to be waiting. You know, we're waiting to get a lockdown. Yeah. We're waiting for everything to return to normal, waiting to go back to school. But in the Bible, when it talks about waiting, it's almost an expectancy that God is going to act. Yeah. And uh, one of my favourite verses in the Bible is, is, is um, Psalm 40, verse 1. It says, I, I waited for the Lord, and he heard my cry. And my favourite ever Christian song is, is called, I waited for the Lord on high. And the root word for wait in Hebrew is kavar. And that word is more than just tarry or, or wait patiently or wait eagerly. It also means to bind or to be bound to. It's a bit like when you get a, a, a basket and, and it, it gets wound together. And uh, I get a real sense that, that God is saying at this time, as we wait for him in prayer, we'll become more like him. We'll start to take on his attributes. We'll start to, to see as he sees. So I just want to pray, Lord, as we start off tonight, that we would see as you see. We would see with the eyes of faith and not the eyes of fear. Mm. That we would see with the eyes of love and compassion and not indifference. Mm. That we would see with the eyes of hope mm. and not the eyes of despair. Mm. That, Lord, we would see as you see. Mm. And the second part of, of that song is the Lord on high, mm. El Elyon. And I, I love that because... It talks about a God who is above it all, a God who is in control, a God who is on the throne. And because he's on the throne, he has authority, he has power, and he is in charge. Lord Jesus, we thank you yeah. tonight that, Lord, you are in charge. And nothing comes as a surprise to you. That, Lord, you have power and authority over everything that's going on, over COVID-19, Lord, over everything, that you are sovereign. And I pray for us as Christians, I pray for us as a church, we'd get that, we'd, we'd grasp that, Lord, that, that truth, Lord God, and we would allow you to sit on the throne of our lives and we put our trust in you and not in the circumstances around us. Um, today's reading for Mark 10, Kerry did it this morning. Thank you so much, Kerry. Um, I really had it on my heart to pray for our youth and our teenagers. So I'm just going to lead us into prayer. Uh, Lord Jesus, we just want to remind everybody mm. that these teenagers are yours, Lord. Amen. And in this limbo That's time, right. Lord, mm. just pray for bring a renewed yeah. openness and connectedness with families, with the teenagers and their parents, Lord. That this will be a marked time of families of your joy, of your Holy Spirit, of peace upon them that you will meet them in their dreams, that you will whisper to them in their quiet moments. Place on their hearts, Lord, of any peers or friends that might be lonely, that have key worker parents, that may feel a little bit stranded at the moment. Give them creative ways to reach out to them, whether they're year seven and just started school and haven't got that friendship base. Lord, be with them at this time, we pray. Um, and as you bless the children in Mark, Lord, we bless our teenagers, we bless our youth, Lord, and we bless those families. And Lord, remind the parents of words that you had given them when those children were born, or verses, that they will pray into them again, Lord, that every night they will pray those over them, and that these teenagers will have real revelations of you, Lord. We want revelations of you, and honest conversations of you, Lord, time, in this time. Amen. Amen. I don't know if you can see, I've got my... Um my Liverpool shirt on tonight, um, and I love this thing. I love Liverpool. I've, I've lived in Liverpool most of my life. Uh, my two daughters are Scousers. They're born in Liverpool. I met my beautiful wife in Liverpool. I I, I love the sense of humour, the, the character, the the resilience, um, and the community that, that Scousers and that Liverpool has. And I just want to I just want to pray. Um, in, into Liverpool. There's 30 electoral wards or areas um, in Liverpool. I just want to pray over them. For I know the plans I have for you, Kirkdale, Norris yeah. Green, yeah. Croxter, yeah. Fizakali yeah. and Warbrett. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future.
the people walking in darkness in West Derby and Utree yeah. and County mm. and Clubmore and Everton, upon them a yeah. light has shone. Amen. But God turned his attention to Anfield and Notty Ash and Tuberick and Stonycroft yeah. and mm. Central and yeah. Picton and he caused the floodwaters yeah. to recede. Kensington, Fairfield, Riverside, Prince's Park, Waywardtree, and Greenbank. For God so loved those areas that he sent his one and only son that the people of those areas should not die but have eternal life. Oh, Crescenton, Bel mm. Belvale, Speak, mm. Garston, Allerton, and Hunts Cross. Mm. Lift up your eyes. Lift up your eyes to the mountains. Where does your help come from? Your help comes from the Lord. It comes from the maker of heaven and earth. Lord Jesus, we pray tonight that you would turn your attention, Lord, to this city of Liverpool, Lord God. That, Lord, you would yes. utterly destroy, Lord, COVID-19 in our city, Lord God. That, Lord, you would, you would spare the lives of those in hospital, Lord God. Lord, that the infection rate would just fall off in this city and across this nation. And across yeah. this world, Lord God. Yeah. Lord, we pray. So I know the plans I have for you, Liverpool. Plans to prosper you and give you a hope and a future. Lord, we pray for our businesses, Lord God. We pray you prosper the businesses that are struggling in Liverpool. We think of, 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 of the people in our church who have their own businesses. Lord, we ask that you would, you would prosper them, Lord. You'd cause those businesses to flourish. That when they come out of lockdown, Lord God, that they would, they would flourish. They would grow, Lord Jesus. And, and just the challenge for us um, as a church, you know, over oh, the next couple of weeks, why don't we adopt um, an electoral ward? Maybe not our own, maybe one in the north and the city. Why don't we do a bit of research about its history? Um, find out what the key issues are in that area. Pray for businesses, schools in, in those areas. Pray for the physical and spiritual and the mental health of those areas. Pray for key individuals, local councillors in those areas. Let's just cry out to God for our city, for each war, that God will bring change and transformation in those areas. Amen. As we pray for our city, I'd like to pray for the elderly in our city. Um, and I'm just going to lead us into that. Lord Jesus, I just pray that you will remind the elderly and those isolated at the moment of... Mm. Um, you that they learned about in their youth Lord Jesus they would have heard it in school they would have heard it in the Sunday schools Lord Jesus just remind them renew them Lord Jesus with that meet them in the mundane moments mm, and be overwhelmed with your love Lord I could cry I just want you to soak them in your mm, love that yes, they Lord. cannot be in any doubt that it is your love protect them Jesus in this time strengthen their immune system when fear hits, Holy Spirit, your peace washes over mm, them, Lord, amen. we pray. We pray that over the key workers and we're working in care homes. Lord, I pray this council, this government steps up and gives the right equipment that mm, we will amen. eliminate any yeah. virus in our care homes, mm. Lord Jesus. Mm. That you will protect them, you will protect the workers and mm. everybody that's missing them, Lord Jesus. Be with them. Be with those that are missing their relatives and want to see them safe, Lord Jesus, at this time. Amen. Amen. And we're just going to pray um, for the government and, and for Boris Johnson. Um, you know, there's been a lot of, of news recently about all the new changes and the lockdown. Lord Jesus, your word says that we should pray for those in the forest. Lord, I pray for Boris, Lord. I pray for the, for the, for the government this time. They have so many uh, difficult decisions to make. We just pray for real wisdom. We pray for real, real clarity. Father God, for him, Lord, and for the government. Help them to make the, the right decision, Father. Help them to bring a sense of calm, Lord, to the nation. And Lord, we're going to pray too um, for school leaders, for business leaders, Lord, for employers who have key decisions to make. How are they going to social distance? How are they going to get the right PPE out to, to the employees, Father God? Just pray, give them strategies, give them, Lord, ideas. Lord God, we pray especially, Lord, uh, um, for head teachers, Lord God, as they work about how do they social distance um, in primary schools and if the secondary schools open, how do they do that, Lord? Give, just help them, give them real, real wisdom, Lord, how they can do, how they can social distance, Lord, um, in, in a creative way, Father God. 
And we want to pray too. We want to pray for Frontline Church, Lord. Yeah. We want to pray, Father God, that you would just uh, surround us, your people, with your peace. Lord, your word says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Yeah. Trust in God. Trust also in me. Lord, where our Amen. hearts are troubled, Father God, yeah. we pray that your peace would descend, would rest upon us, Father God, and help us be people who carry your peace to a world, Lord, that is, is lacking peace at the moment, Lord. We thank you that, Lord, you are the Prince of Peace, Lord. Enable us, your church, to, to lift up our gaze. Lord, I said earlier about how you are elevated on the Lord and high. Lord, help us to lift our eyes up and to look not at our circumstances, but to look at who you are, Lord God. You know, I remember once someone said to me, if you look at the giants in your life, you will stumble. But if you look up at God, then the giants will tumble. Lord, enable us, Lord, to fix our eyes upon you. Thank you, Lord, that you're in charge, you're in control, and you've got this, Father God. And we pray as the church we come through stronger, Lord, at the end of this, Father God, because you're with us. You never leave us or no. forsake us. We thank you for that, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Thank you. We have loved being with you, seeing your names popping up. We miss you so much. Mm. I'm going to stand with Alistair and Mal and hug you all when we get back together again. From the Atkins, love you. Have a great evening and we shall Thanks. see you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.